for the last I'm couple of years. Slide. All right, I'm speaking seven. of the offseason, a guy who can join us here because there is no offseason when we talk about football is Monday Night Football, the voice of it. That is Joe Buck joining us to look at the full slate of that primetime schedule. Joe, what do you look at first when the schedule comes out? Uh, that's a good question. I, I think the first thing I look at is, is, am I going to be cold? Uh, you know, I'm 55, I'm weak. Uh, and the answer is yes, because we've got green Bay late in the year. Uh, but I just, I look at the overall feel of it. It feels great. I love the way we start. I love the way we end. We've got some great matchups in the middle. Uh, there's a lot to like about this Monday night football schedule in 2024. All right, let's go month to month. Let's uh, break things down starting in September here. Aaron Rodgers and the Jets take it on the 49ers out the gate. Then week two, we get Kirk Cousins as a Falcon prime time against the Eagles. Joe, what do you make of our September start? Well, I think it's really good. I know Greeny was crying about it when the schedule came out. Oh, I know. We got it, Greeny. You're a Jets fan. We've heard it over and over again. You're scared about the matchup week one and the whole uh, karma thing with uh, Aaron Rodgers again. I, I think it's an awesome way for us to start. Uh, and then I think week two for you, Kevin. Mm. I think it's scary for us at ESPN because we know this. We're going to go into Philly with – Jason Kelsey is a member of ESPN. Mm -hmm. Will we come out of Philly with Jason Kelsey <laughs> as a member of ESPN? Or will they somehow coerce him to come back onto the field where we know he could still play at a Pro Bowl level? You got that week three matchup potentially, and that's the doubleheader. Jaden Daniels, maybe we'll see him up against uh, Joe Burrow, LSU versus LSU. Now let's go to October. We kick it off with the champs in Kansas City against the Saints, then a big divisional game between Josh Allen and Aaron Rodgers. Joe, what stands out in this month? Yeah, I mean, that's the one that obviously grabs my attention. That's, that's the way we started last year and then got through four plays and – Everything changed with Aaron going down. The one at the end there with the Giants and the Steelers, just because of the uniforms, the helmets uh, in Pittsburgh, I think is is a great game. Uh, and then week seven, right in the middle there with the Ravens and the Tampa Bay Bucks, uh, the Bucks and Baker Mayfield. You know they brought they bring Mike Evans back. I, I think there's a lot to like uh, with them again in the South and Baker having the comfort of that contract. So I, I think it's a strong month. Uh, which leads into a stronger month, which leads into a stronger month for us. I, I like that, that we're trending forward here. Specifically, too, that Steelers matchup, who's going to be the quarterback? We're going to discuss that uh, as they uh, get underway with uh, Fields versus Russell Wilson. Let's go to November. An interesting game between the Dolphins and Rams. And then C.J. Shroud and the Texans take on Dak Prescott in Dallas. Then we've got the reunion of the Harbaugh brothers in Week 12. Shefty's talked about that. That should be a fun one to call, Joe. Yeah, I mean, that's just a great month for us. There's no other way to look at it. That Week 10 game could be a track meet. Uh, the battle for the state of Texas, Week 11. I love the fact that we've got all four teams that were in the conference championship games twice on our schedule. That includes the Ravens uh, taking on uh, the Chargers out in Los Angeles. And, yeah, the brothers can uh, can coach against each other and then go eat turkey because it's Thanksgiving week. <laughs> the one thing I'm noticing, though, November, it, it, that's actually a good thing here specifically. It looks like some dome stadiums there for you, Joe. Weather. That's a good thing. That's a very good thing for you. Uh, let's get to December here because Joe Burrow travels to Dallas to take on the Cowboys in week 14. Mark is going to be fired up for that. Then it could be a matchup of rookie quarterbacks when the Bears and Vikings take the stage. Then a rematch of the NFC Championship with the Niners and Lions in week 17. Your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, that week 17 game, I think Mark has talked about it. I mean, that's, that's just an unbelievable finish. You know, and we sit here, we're talking in May. You have to get there and you have to have everybody healthy and you have to have these teams show up the way we expect them to. But yeah, I mean, that's just an unreal way to end. And I agree with Marcus. I mean, the, the Lions can look at many spots in that game where they could have very easily have been representing the NFC in the Super Bowl. They're a Super Bowl contender again. But yeah, up and down. Bengals and Cowboys, uh, I think, is a really fun matchup in Dallas. We've got two games in Dallas, which I think Troy has in his contract uh, going forward. So yeah, a lot of stuff to love. And uh, I, can't, I can't wait to dig in. Can't wait to get to work.
Joe, it's Dan Orlovsky. You don't look a day over 55 <laughs> either. So uh, you make... I feel 155. I've got twin that's what, six-year-olds That's, that's what that trip to who... Disney World did to you. Yeah. That, oh, that, my God. Hey, <laughs> we were there for like nine days. <laughs> we were there for nine days. I'm still, my back is still recovering. I am old. It's, it was wonderful. It was wonderful. I loved it. I yeah, loved absolutely. Disney. Yes. Unbelievable. <laughs> totally. Yeah, they had the best oh time. God. That's all that matters. <laughs> Uh, uh, ibuprofen, trust yeah, me. My back's yeah, still yeah, sore yeah, from April. Yeah. I get it. Get you a ibuprofen is just the start, Kevin. Yeah. It's just the start. <laughs> Maybe a daddy soda or two. Uh, yeah. Hey, coming off of last season, is there a young quarterback that you're really excited to see on Monday Night Football that maybe you didn't have as much as you wanted last year? Well, I mean, we only got to see CJ at I the did. end, and and you just fall in love with him right away. I. He is everything you want. He's everything you want. He's a leader. He's, uh, he's, I think, as prepared as any young quarterback that we've talked to in a long time. And he can play. Uh, so to get a chance to meet him, I, I, there, there was a time, and I, I don't know, probably shouldn't admit it, but there was a time talking about his childhood, talking about you know what he means to the city now, the opportunity in front of him. I was sitting there, like, tearing up, listening to this young man speak. I, I think he's fantastic and and I couldn't be a bigger fan so I'm you know to have him taking on Dallas in Dallas I think is going to be just mm. a, a really fun night on Monday Night Football mm. Joe allow me to promote another Disney product what was the favorite ride at Disney oh my god uh probably Guardians of the Galaxy yeah, yeah that thing and, up. because they trick you yeah I, <laughs> I, I got through it because they blast music into your head <laughs> yeah. and then they put cool air blowing at you so and it's dark I, I i wrote it once and in space mountain i actually paid somebody to ride <laughs> to it with ride. one of my sons because they can't ride it without an adult and i said here here's 20 bucks there's my kid i'm sitting bucks? on my fat you know what here's over here and enjoy <laughs>